Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to recode values in Stata. In order to do so we'll need data of course so I'm going to go ahead and create an empty data set of 150 observations as you see here and I'm going to populate this data set with some data. So here's what I'm going to do and of course as with these tutorials there's always an opportunity to learn more than you intended to by just noticing some of the other codes and you know procedures that are employed so to that end please note that I start by creating a new variable called it uh, VAR1 var1 and this variable is just going to be uh, random values between 1 and 10 and then I'm going to generate variable 2 var2 which is just going to be the rounded version of var1. So why don't we just go ahead and do that real quick so you can see what these mock data look like. You can see we have our random values here and the corresp corresponding rounded figures here for var2 and we can really go ahead now and drop var1 because we don't have a need for it anymore. It was just there to uh, to help us set up the data. So now let's go ahead and do a recode command. So it's very simple in Stata. You start out, start out just by typing recode and then you list the variable for which you're interested in recoding. Now you can list as many variables as you'd like here. So if you have a number of variables for which you want to make changes you would just go ahead and just really enter them all here in a row as much as you wanted to. In this case we've just come up with uh, one variable here for which we want recoding. So the syntax here between the brackets you just put in the value that you want to change and in this case I'm just picking two you put equals and then what you want it to change to so in this case I'm just taking all values of two and changing them to one and I'm taking all values of three and changing them to four and you can put in as many of these commands as you'd like so when we come in here you'll now see that we do not have uh, any values of two or three that are left in this data set because we've changed them all to four now you can go ahead and do recoding in a way that also accommodates the generation of a new variable and I did want to show you that before the tutorial is over. Let's go ahead and do another recode command where all values of 5 within var2 are going to be changed to values of 6 and then we put a comma gen and in parentheses var3. So what we're telling Stata is let's create a new variable var3 and it's essentially going to be a, a cloned version of var2 other than the fact that all values of, of 5 in var2 become 6 in var3. So, And when we enter that, notice that it's telling us that there are 12 differences. So there are 12 instances of 5 that we recoded into 6. And as you can see here, we've actually preserved uh, var2 here other than values of 5, which became six as you can see here everything else was preserved so if that value was not five it retains the same value in var3 i hope this tutorial was helpful to you and i would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in stata spss r eviews and minitab here at 272analytics.com, we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter 4 uh, following a perfect chapter 3 and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.